are experiencing the most devastating drug crisis in our nation's history. It is like nothing we have seen before. This is because one drug, fentanyl, has transformed the criminal landscape. Fentanyl is cheap to make, easy to disguise, and deadly to those who take it. Just two milligrams, the equivalent of a few grains of salt, can kill a person. It is the leading cause of death for Americans between the ages of 18 and 45 today. More than terrorism, more than car accidents, more than cancer, and more than COVID. And it is killing Americans from all walks of life in every state and community in this country, nearly 200 Americans each day. The drug cartels responsible for bringing fentanyl into this country are transnational and extremely violent criminal enterprises. They rely on a global supply chain to manufacture and traffic fentanyl, and they rely on a global illicit financial network to pocket billions of dollars from those drug sales. At DEA, we have undertaken a transformation of our own to meet this moment. We have transformed our vision we are now laser focused on the criminal organizations responsible for flooding our fentanyl into our communities, the Sinaloa cartel and the Jalisco cartel. We have transformed our plan. We have built an entirely new strategic layer with two counter threat teams, one for the Sinaloa cartel and one for the Jalisco cartel. These teams are made up of special agents, intel analysts, targeters, data scientists, and chemical and finance experts from across our agency. The team centralize all of DEA's intelligence, they map these cartels, and they analyze the criminal networks that today exist in more than 40 countries around the world. They're also developing targeting information on the members of those networks wherever they operate around the world. And we have transformed our execution we are drawing on the talent and intelligence of, of the men and women in our 334 offices worldwide. And we are working as one DEA to defeat the criminal networks. We've made all these changes in the last two years with urgency to save lives, stop fentanyl, and to defeat the drug cartels that are responsible for bringing fentanyl into our communities. And we are already starting to see results. On April 14th, 2023, DEA announced indictments against the network that is primarily responsible for the massive influx of fentanyl into the United States, the Chapitos network of the Sinaloa cartel. The Chapitos pioneered the manufacture and trafficking of fentanyl into the United States, and they control a global criminal enterprise that has killed hundreds of thousands of Americans. So the DEA proactively targeted the Chapitos network and we followed it across the globe. From China, where the Chapitos partner with Chinese chemical companies and brokers to acquire fentanyl precursors, the ingredients necessary to make fentanyl, to Mexico, their home base, where they run secret laboratories and transform those chemicals into fentanyl powder and fake pills and then smuggle it into the United States by land, by air, by sea, and by underground tunnel. And then in the United States, where the fentanyl makes its way from stash houses near the southwest border across our country, reaching both coasts and everywhere in between. The indictments we announced in April charged 28 members of the Chapitos network. Eight members of that network are now in custody, seven of them overseas, and we are requesting their extradition. But DEA did not stop there. Last week, on May 5th, 2023, we announced the results of Operation Last Mile, where we tracked down and arrested 3,337 associates of the Sinaloa and Jalisco cartels here in the United States. Our operation showed how the Chapitos and others in the Sinaloa and Jalisco cartels partner with violent local street gangs, multi-city distribution networks, and individual drug dealers across our country to get fentanyl across the last mile of distribution onto our streets and onto social media. These networks use social media applications, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and encrypted platforms like WhatsApp, Telegram, and Signal to run their operations and to get fentanyl into the hands of Americans. They hide that fentanyl. They hide it in fake pills that look like oxycodone, Percocet, 
Adderall, or Xanax. They hide it by mixing it in with cocaine, with heroin, and methamphetamine, all to induce Americans to take fentanyl without knowing it and to get them hooked. As part of Operation Last Mile, we seized more than, than 6,500 pounds of fentanyl powder, more than 43 million fake pills laced with fentanyl, 91,000 pounds of methamphetamine, 8,400 guns, and over $100 million. And this is just the beginning. The 10,000 employees that I have the privilege of working with at DEA are the most committed and mission-driven people that I have ever worked with in my career. They're laser focused on one goal, to stop fentanyl, to defeat the cartels, and to save American lives. Every day, the men and women in our 334 offices around the globe risk their lives for this mission. As administrator, I have worked hard to empower our teams with the people, technology, and resources they need to confront the current crisis. But we all must do more. I ask for Congress's continued support so that together we may protect the national security, safety, and health of the American people.